On December 6, 1917, Canada witnessed one of the largest tragedies of its time, the Halifax Explosion. Halifax was one of the best harbours during the time. Its waters were deep and there was much space for ships and ferries. The start of the war really took its toll on the harbour. It was a busy place and there would often be collisions. Mont Blanc was a French vessel with 2,750 tons of explosives coming from New York. It had planned to make a stop in Halifax Harbour and then continue to its final destination, France. That same morning, the Emo ship was coming into the harbour on its way to New York. The ship itself carried nothing but was headed to receive emergency supplies for Belgium. Tuesday morning, both ships had come into the harbour. The Emo was travelling at a very fast speed on the same path as the Mont Blanc. The Mont Blanc blew their whistle to let the Emo know they wouldn't change course. But the Emo replied with two whistles to say they weren't moving either. As the ships got closer together, they both tried to maneuver around each other. The reversing of the emo caused the bow to sway to the right and strike the bow of the Mont Blanc. The spark from the collision sets the explosives on fire. <laughs> Only six minutes past 9 a.m. was Halifax destroyed. The city was left in ruins. 2,000 people dead and 9,000 injured. Later that evening, a snowstorm fell over the horrified city. Even if there were people alive after the explosion, the cold, shelterless night would have brought more deaths. The explosion itself was felt from 200 miles away. Primary resource number one. This journal entry is written by a man named Henry Rosenberg, who was an artist. He resided in Dartmouth, but would take the ferry twice a day to cross into Halifax. He worked there as the principal of the Victoria School of Art and Design. He was on the morning ferry at the time of the explosion. He himself is a primary resource of the event as he has lived to see it and its aftermath. He writes the following journal entry as he stands on the upper deck watching the flames shoot high. Primary resource number two. This is a photo of a page in the Halifax newspaper, The Morning Chronicle. This came out on December 10, 1917, only a couple days after the explosion. Secondary resources, perms, and historical thinking concepts will be included on my Halifax explosion research document.